Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's session I am going to discuss about pipelining process in microprocessor. So what is pipelining? Pipelining in the sense, it is a simultaneous operation. So in microprocessor, the operation is basically classified into three. First one is fetch. Fetch the instructions from memory location. So after fetching, the instruction is decode. So decode in the sense it converted into machine level language. So after conversion, this machine level language is passed to the processor and execute the instructions. The final state is execute. So these three operations are simultaneously performed. So that called as a pipelining process. So basically the pipelining process is classified into different types. The first type is two stage two stage pipeline next one three stage next one four stage next one five stage these are the types of pipeline process in two stage there are only two operations of involve fetch and execute. So fetch the instruction is the one stage and execute the instructions that are another stage. Then three stage pipelining fetch, decode and execute. So fetch the instruction from memory location, decode the instruction and execute the instruction. Four stage pipeline fetch, decode, execute, then WB. So WB represent for write back. Next one five stage. So five stages are uh, present in five stage pipeline process. One is fetch. Next one decode. So after decoding, execute the instruction. Then memory access, final one is write back. So these are the stages of two stage and three stage, four stage, five stage pipeline process. Now we go to analyze what will happen in microprocessor without applying the pipeline process and with applying the pipeline process. So let me take three stage pipeline process. First we consider without pipeline. So without pipelining, what will happen in microprocessor? So let us consider time cycle T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6, T7, T8, T9. So in this without pipelining process, let me assign three instructions. So execution of three instructions. So how much time cycles is back up to execute the three instructions. So in without pipelining first the during the T1 time cycle fetch the instruction 1. So T2 decode the instruction 1. T3 execute. So execute the instruction 1. T4 fetch the second instruction decode the second instruction execute the second instruction t7 time cycle fetch the third instruction decode the third instruction execute the third instruction so in this without pipelining process if you want to execute the three instructions you need nine time cycles so nine time cycles Bracket to execute three instructions. Now we go to apply the with pipelining process. With pipelining process, let us consider same three instructions. So how much time cycles is required to execute the three instructions? Let me assign the time cycle T1, T2, T3, T4, 
टी फोर टी फाइव टी सिक्स टी सेवन टी एट ड्यूरिंग द टाइम से टू वन फर्स्ट यू फेच द इंस्ट्रक्शन वन सो देन टाइम से टी टू डी को द इंस्ट्रक्शन वन साइमल्टेनियसली फेच द इंस्ट्रक्शन टू सो बाई प्लानिंग प्रोसेस इन द सेंस साइमल्टेनियस ऑपरेशन साइमल्टेनियस ऑपरेशन सो ड्यूरिंग टी टू टाइम साइकिल डी को द इंस्ट्रक्शन वन and fetch the instruction 2 t3 time cycle execute the instruction 1 decode the instruction 2 fetch the third instruction so during the time cycle t3 it execute the first instruction the t4 execute the second instruction decode the third instruction fetch fourth instruction the t5 execute third instruction decode fourth instruction fetch fifth instruction so here e3 is the execution of third instruction how much time cycle is required to execute the three instructions third instructions t5 so five time cycle required to execute three instructions so without pipelining process it need a time nine time cycle with pipelining process it need a five time cycles the difference is four four time cycle is saved with using the pipelining process operations so if you are using two stage pipelining process you only apply fetch and execute three stage pipelining process fetch decode execute Four stage pipelining process: fetch the instruction, decode the instruction, execute and write back. Five stage pipelining process: fetch, decode, execute, memory access, write. Back. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are not subscribed my channel, kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos. Thank you.